Oh, I'm Chuck. I'm uh, 78. Chuck, what makes you smile? A bright, shiny day that gives me an opportunity to do what I want to do. What's the best gift you've ever received in your life? I guess my intellect. It's always been, you know, useful, and I think it'll always be there. Uh, even if the body goes, still got that to back, fall back on. What is the most interesting fact about you? I guess because I'm never depressed. Whatever happens, I've got something to look forward to, a project that I'm going to do, or I can reminisce about something I just accomplished. Every night when I go to bed, I make a mental list of what did you accomplish today, and then check them out, and what's up for tomorrow? But you know, just keeping busy is uh, what I like. If you could tell your parents anything in the world right now, if they were sitting here, what would you say to your parents? Oh, I'm so grateful that they uh, treated me the way they did when I was informing. They were very supportive. Um, we were poor, but that didn't matter. I got sent through college, I had a check every month, and I my mother, she cleaned houses, she catered. My dad worked in a factory, but they took care of me. And I'll never forget my grandmother, when I was going away to college, she got me in. And she gave me some homebred bread she always made for Sarasota flour, that was her, her trick. <laughs> and she said, Charlie, I'm so proud, you're the first Slovenian boy ever go to college out of that group. And I think she was right, because nobody ever, they never got out. They went to the factory or the, the army or whatever, but my folks thought this is something we should do, and they did it. They got me through. I wouldn't have done it on my own. I was lazy. I was a teenager, but I went through it, and uh, with their support, succeeded. Who is the person who has influenced your life the most? Oh, my mother. She was an example of you know, an immigrant lady. Just do what it takes, whatever it takes to get, get by, and uh, try to improve yourself, do good for others. That was her credo. Is there a specific moment in your life where you felt loved? I've never really felt unloved, put it that way. People talk about enemies, and if you, if you ask me who my 10 enemies were, I could say, couldn't come up with one, really. I mean, What's your favorite memory in your entire life? Graduating from college, I guess. I'll never forget when I walked down the, from the podium, I thought, this is it. I, I can do whatever I want now. I got this thing you know, that very few people have in those days. They say that it's the little things in life that matter the most. What are some of those little things in your life? Family get-togethers, good food, uh, a successful job, tackling something tough that most people wouldn't even touch, and finally say, well, that, I, that's done, I fixed it. Satisfaction from proving you can do what you set out to do, that you challenge yourself to do something tough, and then when you succeed, that's a joy, that's a joy. What's one thing about this life you wished you understood more clearly? Why well, so short? <laughs> like Steve Harvey, the comedian, said, you wake up one morning, you look in the mirror, and you say, what the heck happened? <laughs> because it's just like that. If, you, if only you could find a way to slow it down. That's the mystery. What can we do to reduce hatred and prejudice in the world? Stop forcing people to think or act or feel the way you do. If you've got a good deal going, Great, keep it to yourself. Don't look down on others because they don't have that same set of values. If, uh, if you yeah. could give some words of wisdom to every young person on the planet at the same time, what would you say to them? Get along. <laughs> like Rodney King said, why can't we all get along? Don't force yourself, don't impose, don't judge. Uh, do good, be a good example. Uh, if you've got any talent or skill, put it to good use. Oh. In your opinion, what is the meaning of this life? Did you ever hear that? Hitchhik Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? They asked the supercomputer what the meaning of life was in there, and it took him 40,000 years to come up with it, and the answer was 24. It's a question that has no answer. It's just a miracle. But the meaning of life is probably um, just um, be, be amazed by it and um, be darn glad you had one. And. Uh, Make the best of it because you've been given a great gift.